Hello guys, Catherine here. There is a very important topic I want to discuss today. Taking steps to improve is crucial when it comes to kidney health. The diet, lifestyle, it's all very helpful. Still, there is one thing that's even more important. Being able to understand our levels for the most important markers for kidney health And I know that blood tests reports can be complex and difficult to decipher for the patient, especially when we start to see a bunch of terms we don't understand. The thing is, you don't really need, as a patient, to be able to understand all the numbers and values on your test. You just need to understand the five life-saving tests. Let's see what they are. First level you absolutely need to understand is ACR, also known as albuminuria. This is increased excretion of urinary albumin and a marker of kidney damage. This is also a very important marker for the risk for cardiovascular disease. Always pay attention to it. For people without confirmed kidney disease, it's important to see if this level stay below 30 mg per gram. When this level is above 30 mg per gram, it indicates CKD. For people with confirmed CKD, it's important to understand the trend with this level. If it's raising too fast, it's a reason for concern. Even more important, serum creatinine or creatinine in blood. This is one of the main indicators of kidney function. You should know what your creatinine levels are if you want to know about your kidney health. Normal levels of creatinine in the blood are around 0.6 to 1.2 mg per deciliter. Obviously, someone with kidney disease will have higher levels. While creatinine levels are important, they are tied to the most important indicator of kidney function. This is the one you should pay most attention to. Glomerular filtration rate or GFR. GFR is the most sensitive and accurate gauge of kidney function. Doctors measure blood creatinine levels and perform a calculation to translate creatinine into GFR. You see here, this line here shows you how these two levels are correlated. Here, for example, at 60 GFR, we can see creatinine is around 2 mg per dl. This is between stage 2 and 3a of CKD. As creatinine rises, GFR decreases, as we can see. For example, when someone in stage 4 will have GFR lower than 29 here, and creatinine above 4. Consider that all the treatments for kidney disease the diet, medication, etc. are based on these numbers. So you should always know very well what they are. Now guys, there are also two values you will not just read in your analysis but that you should also test at home regularly. First test, blood pressure. Why should you do this test? High blood pressure is the second leading cause of kidney failure after diabetes but it's not just that. High blood pressure can cause kidney damage and kidney damage can cause high blood pressure. Remember that the kidneys are only able to handle blood pressure in a range of 130 over 80. Anything higher than that is bound to cause damage over time. So it's very important to keep blood pressure always under control. Clearly, the lower, the better. Ideally, your blood pressure should be as close as possible to 120 over 80. Now, this is a test you can even do at home with a very simple device. Remember to always test your blood pressure at the same time of the day and while relaxed. Second test is blood glucose. Diabetes is the leading cause of kidney disease in the world. If you have it, you need to keep it under control. This is also a very simple test you can do at home, as almost everyone with diabetes already knows. Talking about fasting blood sugar, 
less than 100 milligrams per dl is normal and over 126 milligrams per dl is diabetes just like for blood pressure the higher the number the more the risk these last two are going to be particularly useful if you keep track of them in your personal health journal these can show you trends in your health and can also tell you if what you are doing in terms of diet, lifestyle and remedies is helping. How to compile a health journal to help with kidney health? Watch my video up here for the complete explanation. This is all for today guys, a new video is coming next Tuesday. I hope to see you there. Bye!